Hello everyone, day one of the big annual library book sale is over. I actually wasn't there very long this morning because I completely filled my box and my bag very, very quickly. It was very busy. Last year it was not so crazy. They still had it, but uh, it really wasn't as busy as years prior. This year I got there over a half an hour early and I was somewhere between 30 and 40th in line. Uh, it was just it was just nuts and behind me there had to have been it wrapped the whole way around the, the one section of the mall it had to have been at least a hundred people behind me by the time they opened there in the, uh, uh, the what used to be the Bonton in this big area there were a decent amount of books there uh, the previous past you know two or three years it's been getting less and less a really good first day but also a little bit disappointing in looking at the next two days because when we first started going to this thing years ago it used to be that you would have these tables completely filled with books, boxes under the table completely filled with books, and they would have books that weren't out yet. They would put out in day two and three because there wasn't room. Uh, and today I found a lot of great stuff, but there were no boxes underneath the tables. You could tell like, a couple of the tables weren't even completely full. What was out was kind of what they had. So I'm going to go back tomorrow, but I think it's going to be a quick trip and not going to get much. Um, maybe a few odds and ends that maybe I missed and other people missed, but probably not a lot. Day three then is half price day. Definitely go back for that third day and try to get whatever we can because paperbacks are 50 cents, hardcover are a dollar, and then there are specially marked books. And day one, the first day, I don't really spend a lot of time over in the individually marked books because they're a little bit more money. Kind of wait till half price day went through the whole the you know split between the uh, blue side is all the stuff that's individually marked yellow is the regular price stuff went straight through found what was the science fiction and fantasy table and that was it table it's like one of those big uh tables that you find like a lunch room you know, at, a, at a school that type of thing but still it used to be a selection of three or four tables with boxes underneath science fiction in particular as getting less and less every year you used to find 20 30 star trek books there now three or four if you're lucky uh it's just that section is just not i don't know what's been going on but it, it's not been refilled this is all from the area libraries all the new book donations and things like that and all proceeds go to the area libraries and it just seems like fantasy and science fiction has not been redonated the past few years but I cleared out a huge portion of that table, probably uh, anywhere from a sixth to a fifth of the science fiction that was there, uh, just in the first five minutes. I grabbed this huge set for the store of this series I've never heard of, but apparently there's a ton of them, called The Destroyer. And I picked up 22 of them for 50 cents each. So that will be great for the store. Gonna look at the numbers and you know, how they line up to see um, how I'm going to lot those up and things. Because there's the highest number one I have here is like 141. It's crazy. Never heard of it. But uh, I will, you know, definitely check those out for the store. Did find a few Warhammer, which is great. The Horus Heresy. Three of those. The Warhammer does not stick around very long. Found some Forgotten Realms. So a little bit of fantasy. A few more Forgotten Realms. And a Newton Chronicles. You don't see that very often. So that'll be interesting. Clive Barker's Weave World. And some more Forgotten Realms. A few of these are ones that we have actually had before up for the store. Uh, Poltergeist, The Legacy, Waterdeep, the novelization of Alien. Some Carl Sagan and we have Eric Von Daniken's Chariots of the Gods. Then kids books. Uh, that's the kind of that's the thing I really want to focus on when I go back tomorrow, because kids books were really hard to even get to. Uh, there were hundreds of people within you know ten minutes of them opening, and the kids book section is just inundated. It's so hard to even get in there at, at all to look because there's so many people. Because you have people looking for their kids, you have people looking, you know, resellers, people looking for nostalgic things for themselves, and in this area we have a, a lot of Mennonite that come in very early, and for most of the adults, the kids book slash young adult is their reading level, so they're looking for them and their kids, so it's just like, there are so many people in that area, it's hard to get to, but I was able to grab a few things, I found a couple classic Goosebumps, and then some of the Goosebumps Horrorland, 
few of those. So a few things. Definitely want to go back in there and look. And also found in there the Pokemon Platinum version, the official Pokemon guide. Huge. Um, this one is one I spotted as I was going to check out. It has the, the map and everything. Uh, this was in the individually marked book, so I got a couple things there. Uh, $3. So that was not too bad. Uh, but that would have been gone. So one of these serendipity books. Hardcover of Star Trek Probe. The Eye of the World. Robert Jordan. Uh, this was a really cool grab. This one's going to be for me because this is the only one of that series that I really wanted to have. Just a hardcover a copy of there. We have Clan of the Cave Bear hardcover. I just sold a a uh, box set of three by this author that were in paperback for a decent amount. So uh, this was a dollar, so that was a pretty good deal for me there. Found one record. I always check over there. Mostly, I just kind of casually browse through today and really just look on the last day, 50% off, and see what's left. I, in past years, I've found maybe one or two every year. Very, very few. Uh, but I very quickly just kind of browse through. I found one that was really cool. Loved the cover. It's like, oh. uh, we have Bernadette Peters. And what's really cool is the back cover. But I grabbed that. That was the only thing I found. And uh, I doubt there's going to be a whole lot interesting left unless they have more to bring out because two of the people that were there searching through all the records and taking a whole bunch I know run a record store in a town about 20-30 minutes away from us so they're going to be grabbing just about everything. Uh, but I will check back on the third day and see. You never know. Things are missed. And they also have tons of CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays and that kind of stuff. And I very casually just kind of browsed through to see if there's anything really spectacular. There wasn't anything that really, you know, spoke to me. There wasn't anything I was like, holy crap, that's a rare thing or whatever. There wasn't anything like that, so I'm going to look more carefully on the third day on Half Price Day to see if there's anything that's worth grabbing. Because if it's not something really awesome or something really rare or something you're super looking for, uh, then it's not really worth grabbing till that half price day anyway. Uh, these, I was able to find some manga. I'm going to check back again. Manga, you never know. It depends who's putting them out because there's no real section for them. Sometimes they're in with the art books. Sometimes they're in with the general fiction. Sometimes they're in with the kids books. Uh, kind of depends on, I guess, what the cover looks like to the, whoever's organizing them. Manga's the one weird thing where it, it could be anywhere. You have no idea. So I did find in with the kids book section a stack of manga for a buck a piece. Pretty good. Naruto. We almost, I almost found one to fourteen. I'm only missing number three and four. I looked and I could not find them. If they were in there, these were all together. So they got separated somewhere, but I found Naruto one, two, and then five to fourteen. So really good stack there of Naruto for a buck a piece. Some Chobits. Fruits Basket, and one Rave Master. All in good shape though, and manga for a buck a piece is a good deal. So that was it for today. So all, all of that, all of that was around 50 bucks total. Everything. Really, really good deal. A few things for us, mostly stuff for the store, almost entirely. Uh, but we will be back, uh, of course, going uh, tomorrow, and then that probably won't be too much. I'll probably do a short pickups video. Probably not going to get a lot tomorrow. And the big focus is going to be half price day, really searching through whatever is left to find some great deals.